Okay, here we have a parabola that uh, we have drawn, and we have an equation. Now this equation is in vertex form. And why is it in vertex form? Because basically it tells me the position of the vertex. That h and the k that are in the equation, which will be numbers, basically tell me where the vertex is. In this case, the vertex is over 2 and up 3. So the, the vertex, the h and the k in the equation, look like this. They represent, they're represented in this way. The only catch to this is, when I go to write it, the x and the h is 2, but in, when I write the equation, if it's a positive, if it's actually on the graph a positive 2, then I write it as the opposite. It's always opposite. I put brackets around it in a little square. Now the second part is my k, and that is basically telling me how the graph has moved up. So the first number tells me how far it's moved over, and the second number tells me how far it's moved up. And that's not opposite, it's just as it is. So it's gone up 3, plus 3. Now that's the basics of the equation. All right, That's everything that, that we need to know. Now just so that we can take a look at how this is affected, let's just take a look at how these sliders here on the graph affect the graph. Right. So the h, if you don't believe me, about moving the graph right or left, as the h gets bigger, it goes to the right. As it gets smaller, it gets to the left. All right, and so we'll just put that back where it was. I don't know if that's what it was, it doesn't matter. And what's the k do? Well, as k gets bigger, it moves up. And as k gets smaller, it moves it down. So that's what k does to the graph. But it's basically doing it to the vertex. All right, it's just doing it to the vertex. So if we move this graph, let's just say we move it. Well, let's move it right here. OK? Now, we've got to build an equation around that graph. So let's, let's figure it out. All right? So we, remember, we don't have to worry about a stretch. So we don't, I'm not even going to write that. So the equation takes this form. This and this basically become my vertex. Where is my vertex? Well, my vertex is, is to the right 6 and up 1, 2, 3. So that's what my vertex is. It's at 6 and 3. Now all I do is I stuff these. This is my h. So y is equal to x. Now the only catch to this is, whatever this is on the vertex, you have to write it as the opposite in the equation. So it's actually minus 6 squared. And then plus 3, up 3, is just plus 3. It doesn't change. It's not opposite or anything. So there's the equation for that graph. And there's no stretch, so I don't have to worry about what goes in front. And that's all there is to plotting an equation from a graph in vertex form. Now I have a graph that is in a different position. It's here. And so we identify that spot, which is basically minus 4. The new point is minus 4 and down 2. So that's my vertex. Now how does that equate to an equation? Well remember the equation, you're going to have to learn this. There's no stretch to this because I haven't made a stretch, it's still over 1 and up 1. So all I have to do is worry about this. Is my basic frame of my equation. It doesn't matter what letters you use here. But this is the basic frame. Now I've got to stick something in for the h, which is this first one. It tells me whether it's going right or left. And then this one is my k. So remember that what is actually happening in the graph has to be the opposite in the equation. So if that's a minus 4, it's going to be plus 4, all squared. And now it's gone down to, and I reflect that the way it does. So opposite here, the same here. And that's the equation. That's the equation in vertex form.